power of God is sent to a town of Galilee called Nazareth. Why? Well, first of all, at that time, and we need to read the, the text in the context, at that time, Galilee did not have really a very good reputation because of all the influences coming from the Gentile world, you know, and as such, a Jewish tradition was considered to be not such a pure, you know, either were Catholic, let's say that uh, those in Galilee were not considered to be the pure, strong Catholic. Uh -huh. And uh, Nazareth, Nazareth even more, it was a complete, a complete meaningless village. The property of the shrine, and believe me, and if you have been, you have visited, you can confirm, the property of the shrine is five, six times bigger than what was Nazareth at that time. At that time. As outside of the metaphor, no one, just imagine yourself belonging, belonging to this religious and cultural world. No one would expect the power of God to be found there. Usually it was at the great Judea, it was at Jerusalem, it was the temple where the power of God, the presence of God was supposed to be found. So what's going on here? Well, a simple fact that what Luke is trying to share with you, with me, with you, is the fact that actually this God goes far beyond, far beyond human traditions mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and human expectations. And it can actually be found there mm -hmm where you may not expect him mm -hmm. to be present. Mm -hmm. Then, it appeared to whom, verse 27, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, <coughs> and the virgin's name was Mary. And here too, we have a lot of hints talking about this artistry of God and God in this sense is really a good artist because it's so creative that he's able to surprise us and to challenge us and here again we have many details now, first of all we have to keep in mind how marriage was conceived in the world in which Mary used to live now in this world uh, marriage basically had three steps. The first one it was the engagement. Usually it was decided by the parents of the couple. Second, there was the betrothal. And uh, it was kind of, uh, you know, official public ratification of the marriage to be. And usually it was supposed to happen one year before the <coughs> wedding. And then there was the wedding itself. That is probably the part that all of us prefer because it was a huge long celebration for the whole week, mm -hmm. eating mm -hmm. and dancing. Mm -hmm. Now, at this point of his life, Mary was betrothed. But pay attention, it says a virgin betrothed. Why? Well, virginity in this world was considered to be one of the highest value that a woman could have. And also for this reason, now you understand why in antiquity, in this world,